Hey, welcome in this video! Today we are going to see how to create a 360 slider with Elementor and a third-party plugin called Dynamico. So it will be very very easy because we are going to need only a video of a 360 element turning on itself. So you can find those videos of course on stock footage website, uh, on YouTube of course if they are free to use and you can even make it yourself. In fact many creators, for example 3D artists can actually make those with Blender. They actually have their 3D model and they turn it with Blender. Of course if you have a product, a real uh, tangible product, you can of course buy on Amazon for example those uh, turning table that uh, you can use to put your product on it and let it turn. And with a camera of course capture the, the entire motion. So the important is that you have a 360 video, means that uh, the video is made of 360 frames. So we are going to use an example video in this tutorial and step by step you will see how to create your own 360 slider. You can find all the links of the plugins in the description of this video. I'm Aryan and this is my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and notification bell. This would help me a lot with my video tutorials. So let's start right away. So we have our three plugins here, Dynamico, Elementor and Elementor Pro. Then if I go on Appearance, Teams, I have my Halo team installed as usual. So all the plugins and the team you can find in the description of this video. So let's go and create a new page. So add a new page. The title would be 360 slider. Add it with Elementor. I will go here in the setting top bottom and I will actually uh, change the page layout. If you want to keep your header and footer, you can go and select Elementor full width. I will go with Elementor full canvas so I get a blank page without any header or any footer. Great, from here we need just to click on this plus button here, then first structure and then we can make sure this is selected, this section, and of course, height, fit the screen for our example, and then go back here on the widget uh, menu, and then inner section, click it, drag and drop it here, and of course, we will have the inner section with two columns, right? So now we are going here again on the widget menu, and we are going to search for 360. And if you right click 360, we find 360 sliders, you drag and drop it here. And now you have your 3D element. And if we get on our folder, as you can see, I'm using a very simple video, an MP4 video of a character that is turning on itself. You can use also a product or whatever you want. So let's close this. This is going to drag it in Photoshop. like that. Then to make this work we need to export this. So to export this file, export, render video. If you click on render video you will get the name and here you need to remove the name and keep only .jpg select the folder, so you can actually select the folder and create a new one. And here you can select this folder, digits 1, starting at 1, format JPEG, and then you can, um, you know, size it as you wish. I uh, size it 1000 for 1000, it's actually a square. And then you just click on render. Great, 
now we can close this and as you can see we have our 360 image sequence and as you can see all the image is one two three sixty so it's very very important to have images um, name it like this we need to have numbers from one to three sixty we don't have to add any other character any other text to the names so once you have done that of course we need to go on our uh, hosting account and here we are in my hosting account so of course i'm using siteground more than 10 years using them so uh, if you're looking for a hosting company uh, you can check the description of this video i will leave you a link uh, below and now you need to go on the, your file manager so i'm clicking on my file manager in my case my website is demo.actunicorn Com. So I'm going to select my website and usually in the public HTML you will find all the WordPress um, files, right? So uh, usually you need to go on VP content and then you need to go on plugins, dynamic content for Elementor and of course assets and then select lib and scroll down until you see um, a folder called um, 360 slider and here is it so it's uh, written like this 360 slider and if you double click on it you will find some folder so of course uh, i have a hero because i test that out the plugin go back on my uh, folder here i will select with ctrl a all the images and then right click and add to zip folder. So just click on the zip here, right? And make it okay. So now you will create a zip folder. And once you created the zip folder, just click on this, drag it and drop it here. Great, now it's completed. Let's close this. And now we have our zip file here that we just added. So right click and extract. Great, so now we have our folder. I'm going to rename it with a simple name. So I'm going to click on rename and we will call it character and confirm. Perfect. Now we have our folder called character. Inside the folder, make sure you have all your image. So double click on it. And here, as you can see, you have all the images. Don't worry if they are not in the exact order. Um, the plugin will do the work for you. So let's remember the path of this. So the folder is called character. And as you can see, this is the path of where we stored our images. So let's go back on our WordPress page. And as you can see, the plugin automatically add you a image path. So we are only going to change this last name like this. So it will not be image cube, but it will be character. So now, as you can see, this is loading. The image of the character are really big and high in quality. So I really suggest you guys to make the images lighter as possible or smaller as possible. In my case, the loading will be a little bit longer because the quality of the images uh, sequences are really high. Cool, now we have our 3D element and you can actually drag and drop it but not now because we are in the uh, editing mode, right? So let's try and preview this by clicking on the arrow. And now, as you can see, guys, we can drag the image. Look how amazing this looks. Really cool, right? So I'm going back here and now I'm going to change the size. So the width, you can change it at the number. So now it's 1000, right? 
And now with this done, you can really make whatever you want. So I'm going now back to the design. And as you can see, we are going to add all those kind of elements. First of all, I'm going to copy the color of the background. So I select the background usually and take this color code. Then I usually go on the setting here in the bottom. Style, background color and change the color here. So now let's see how to build the structure that we designed on Adobe XD. So as you can see, it's very interesting because we have some elements here and the hardest part will be this one. So I will show you how. So this structure will need to be changed because we can't add inner section inside the column of another inner section. So first of all, we need to copy this Okay, just right click, copy, and then we are going to remove this. And here, as you can see, we have only one column, but in our case, we need two columns. So right click, duplicate column, and now we have two different columns. Now, inside of this column here, I'm going to click on the right click on the mouse and paste. Great, now we can add inner section in this column. Get back here on this widget menu and then click on inner section and add your inner section. So we are going to remove the right column. We are not using it. Delete and now we can add our elements inside the inner section and then duplicate the inner section. First of all, again, widget menu, heading, so we are going to make the first heading and the first heading is of course character. Right, just click here so we can style and then typography, pop pins, search for pop pins in our case. And then the size, we can change it, make it smaller like this. The weight, we can make it lighter and then we can also play um, with the transformation so uppercase and then line spacing like this i also going to make it a little bit smaller great looks good i'm actually going to um, duplicate this right click duplicate and now we're going to style back again change the text color to white and of course, we are going to change the typography um, like this. And then transform uppercase, we can remove to default. Weight, we can make it heavier or not so much, maybe 600 would be great. And the line height, we will remove to default. And of course, then um, the size a little bigger like that and click on content and we're going to add the character name like this. And now we have our little section here. I want those to be a little bit more near each other. So I'm going to click in this inner column here and then widget space, you can add then, so now I can duplicate this, so right click. Oh, and for, before duplicating, um, you, you can also change the color of this. Actually, on my design, I have another color probably. Yep, so I'm going to check this color here and I'm changing this. Cool, so now it's better. So right click, duplicate, and here we're going to change this to type. And this we're going to change it to warrior. And then we need to duplicate this again. So I'm going to do this in a different way. So I'm going to duplicate this, right click, duplicate, right? We are going to remove this, delete, and we are going to add, duplicate this. Remove this text, I don't need it anymore and I'm going to search in the widget here something called icon 
and you will find something called icon box. We can use icon box like this, just drag and drop it here. And of course, in the option here on the left panel, we can find the icon position and usually uh, you get it on the, um, on the left, okay? And here you can upload your SVG, of course, going to click style and then the primary color, of course, we are going to choose uh, the same color of this text. So I'm going to click here, style, and I'm going uh, to add this color, um, test like this, create. So now if I get back to this element here, I can use my uh, amethyst color I just saved, of course. And then, um, you know, you can change also the content color. So change this to the amethyst. To so change the text color, you can just make a white color like this. And of course, uh, typography, let's change it to poppins. Okay. And of course, again, typography of the title, Let's make it poppins again, like that. And um, let me click here and then the weight, make it 700 and then transform. We can make it uppercase and the size a little bit smaller like this. Um, and then uh, again, the description, let's change the typography of the description can make it a little bit smaller if you wish like that okay and then um, of course I will keep it like this and and here we can also change the spacing as you can see there is title and there is spacing right if you change this you can make it more near to the element to the title so i am also changing the content here by clicking here on content tab and uploading an svg of course i have some already uploaded but i'm going back to my folder i'm going to select all of them and upload the three svg so we have already everything so the first one is the axe insert as you can see we have the axe and then i click on this column here it like this and on advanced I'm going to add some padding to we'll choose percentage but I'm using percentage in this case by clicking here and then uh, like this you can make some spacing right uh, we can go on style and change the background type so by clicking on classic and here we can change the color so let me get a color on my XD element so I have the color here and it's this one I'm going to copy the hex code back on my WordPress and here again I'm going to add the color so as you can see now we added a background color it's very light if I change it as you can see uh, better but I'm going to keep you know the design um, color and of course uh, there is not much spacing around that so I'm going back to advance and I'm adding some margin so with percentage selected again here we can add some margin like this we can even remove one uh, pixel from the padding go on style and then go on border we can change the border radius so uh, let me try and change a little bit the border radius on advance you just need to unlock this and on the left you just add some padding like that maybe too much right now okay unlock this part and if you go on the right here we have two right so i'm going to add more and you are going to make it more shorter as you can see so i'm going to duplicate the element right click duplicate right click duplicate and now i'm going to change the content of it so let's choose this one first let's change the svg um so with this here we are and now I'm going to change the text. Oop, right on the content, just change it here. It's easier like this. And then power smash will be updated with the new SVG icon and with a new title, of course. 
let's see the preview so we have our element of course you need to fix it and uh, you need to spend some time on you know making it better so let me open this again just right click duplicate drag this to the bottom of the column and then now we are going to remove this and here in the widget menu let's add some text okay so i'm going to style this um, with the color of course not same as the xd and then also the typography i want a good poppins and of course the size could be change like this and if you wish you can also um you know change the content and here uh, i can just paste so now i'm going also to add some spacing to this so i'm going to advanced and usually you can play with the padding just unlock this page otherwise it takes longer so on the left just click twice for example and on the right great so now we need to change a little bit of spacing between them so you can get here back on the widget and search for spacer and you can you know this between every uh, element so then you know with this selected you just change the spacing you can also keep a 10 pixel in our case i think it's enough just copy this and of course um you know you can paste it under each element so here maybe i'm going to um, drag and drop it on the top of this and then you, you need to play with the spacing actually you know and um, to get your final result and of course uh, you can also duplicate this and drag it and of course now that we have the spacing we can actually click on the main column that is this one on the top this is the main column you can click on it right and then you can actually go on advanced and the padding we can change this padding with percentage click it and we can start you know playing with this like that and maybe we can remove some spacing here on the top so just unlock this and maybe on the top we can uh, you know remove some spacing so it's more aligned click on this section on the main section uh, advanced and here you can play with margin for example so we can click on percentage um, unlock this and just add some margin at the top okay so that you have the space for your header of course before saving remember to check your design as you can see we have some uh, typo here paste it here and of course instead of character great now we can save this but still let's check the mobile version let's click here on the mobile so here the mobile version and as you can see the mobile version looks pretty cool the abilities maybe doesn't look really nice and we can change this by actually changing the padding so i'm going to click on this first uh, column here and then I'm going on advance and I'm going to um, you know remove the space unlocking everything and re-locking everything and automatically he set up you know a standard default and again here unlock this and re-click again uh, like that and as you can see now uh, it's all well so now I'm going to click here on percentage and I start you know to add some padding like this and then I will also add here on percentage some margin. Those changes will uh, be reflected only on mobile version, so don't worry. When once you've done that, just copy this column here, paste style, right click, paste style here, right click, paste style here. So now, as you can see, the mobile version looks awesome. Great. So now we can go back on our desktop version, check if everything is okay, and just update everything. 
So now let's check the final result. Wow, this looks amazing. It is incredible, look at this. You can turn it as you wish and it's super duper fluid. Whew, great, right? We made our 360 slider and this is looking so good. So you can do this for your e-commerce products, for presenting your character, your models, your art. So you can do a lot of things with this. I hope that the tutorial was useful guys and once again please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and notification bell and I see you in the next video. Bye!